Welcome back to Grizz Vision here on OUGrizzlies.com. My name is Neil Rule. We're here with Coach Campy after an 86-64 loss at Milwaukee. And Coach, a three-point game at halftime. Got away from you in the second half there. Yeah, it really did. And uh, you got to give Milwaukee a ton of credit. They really shot the, the ball extremely well. And, um, you know, part of it was I thought we were really fatigued. And, and you know, we, we played Friday night and we had that long bus trip yesterday. And, um I, I was really concerned about it, and once the game, we were fine. Now I'm not making an excuse. We were fine, but once the game started to get away from us, you could just see the the air come out of our balloon and the, the effort. I mean, you look at the easy shots they got. You know, a couple of the layups where a guy drove right by three people, and you, instead of bodies moving, you saw hands reaching and things like that. So, yeah, I, you know, I, I think that had a real effect on the last ten minutes of the game. The game, you know, we were going to get beat though. So I'm not sitting there. Anymore. I really don't want to make it sound like I'm making an excuse for the loss on travel and on the schedule. I'm not. I just felt that it was I'm not surprised by the way the game ended, you know, with the big the big point spread. Coach, you and I talked in the post-game radio interview a little bit about being in the middle, uh, the, really that middle pack of the, the Horizon League. This was a big loss for you guys in terms of that. Milwaukee now has the season sweep on you, so they got you. They got one up on you there. Yeah, there's that, that's, a, you know, in the tiebreaker, that's not good for us. Um, you know we're, we're four and five. They're five and five. Wright State's five and five. There's a bunch of teams, you know, with four, three to five, six losses. So they're still all packed up. Uh, there's seven games for us left. Every game, every game is meaningful. Every game means something as far as seating goes. So you know we've got to regroup and we got to come back Thursday ready to play it and uh, play at home against Cleveland State. The bright spot here today, Travis Bader becomes the all-time three-point king in the history of college basketball. Nobody's made more than Travis. He made six of them here tonight. And, you know, I, I know we tell the story a lot and, and we talk about there's not really much that can be said about Travis as a person, but it really is great to see a, a guy like Travis Bader set that mark. Well, as you said, it's been, it's been well documented. Um, I'm very happy for him. I'm very proud uh, for Oakland that, you know, that he did that here and that, you know, somebody from, you know, we've only been a Division One school for 15 years. 14 years, and we got a guy that set an all-time NCAA record, and that's that's really cool. And all the people that played in it, you know, all the people, all his teammates, everybody that passed to him, every assist that was given, um, every screen that was set, every play that was called by a staff member, um, you know, workers at o, at the arena, the guys that worked that opened the gym for him and let him get in there and shoot at odd hours. Every one of those people had a play in him breaking this record. So, you know. I'm really glad it's over, Neil. And I, yeah. you know, I'm glad the pursuit is over. And it was pretty neat for Oakland to have the this, this, this spot like, like that. But it's time now to, to move on. And uh, It's February, and we're 0-1 in February, which you know we, we don't like that. So it's time to move on and worry about trying to win basketball games. And he's got the record now. Everybody's happy, and he'll still have it when the season's over. So let's, let's get through the season, have some success, and then we'll, we'll talk about that. All right, Coach. Certainly do appreciate the time. Thank you very much. My pleasure, Neil.